To get a proper look at what makes the longfin eel New Zealand's top freshwater predator, I first have to catch one. When it comes to bait, anything goes. Fresh roadkill could be worth a try. Eels tend to be more active at night, relying on smell rather than sight to find food. I use a concoction of guts and offal to draw them in. Eels have a phenomenal ability to sense blood. My two rods are each equipped with an electronic alarm, primed to go off if something makes a grab for the bait. I don't have to wait long. If there's flesh on offer, it seems these animals are into it like starved piranhas. With some fresh roadkill on the end of my line, I've hooked my first longfin eel. Even with a small one, I have to take special care because these fish have poisonous blood. The serum contains a neurotoxin that can kill dogs. And just a splash into my eye or a cut as I try to unhook it could land me in serious trouble. Doesn't feel like a normal fish at all. Very, very smooth skin. They do actually have scales, but they're embedded under a layer of skin. Not very big eyes, they don't really use their eyes to hunt, but they do use smell. And you can see what looks like a pair of horns on the front of the head there. In fact, these structures are tubes that funnel water into enlarged nasal chambers. The eel's sense of smell is even more sensitive than that of a great white shark. Having zeroed in, an eel grabs its prey with powerful jaws that bristle with hundreds of teeth. Well, you can see why people consider these to be very similar to snakes, even though they are technically fish. There are plenty of eels here, but nothing over three feet long. Leaving legends aside, I wonder if science can shed any light on the question of size. Just how big, in theory, could this animal grow? Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like the River Monsters page.